All right, so this time let's have the application of Charles Law. Charles Law is V1 over T1 is equals to V2 over T2. That's the general equation for Charles Law. Now let's have sample problem. The gas in a balloon measures 160 ml at 30 degrees Celsius. What will be its volume if it is heated to 40 degrees Celsius? So to solve this problem, let us identify the given. For the given, we have the following initial volume, which is 160 ml. Initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So it is in Celsius. So in Charles Law, you have to convert the temperature to Kelvin by adding 273. So 30 plus 273 is equal to 303 Kelvin. So our initial temperature will be equal to 303 Kelvin. And also we have the final temperature, or T2, which is equal to 40 degrees Celsius. And then again, you have to convert that in Kelvin by adding 273. So 40 plus 273 is equal to 313 Kelvin. All right? All right, so we're going to apply cross multiplication. So this is how you do cross multiplication. Multiply V1 to T2, so you will get V1 T2 equals to V2 times T1, so we'll get V2 T1, all right? So we have a new equation, which is V1 T2 equals to V2 times T1. But the unknown is V2, so we're going to encircle V2 here, so you will not forget that that is the unknown variable. And we're going to divide both sides of the equation by T1. So we write T1 here and T1 here and cancel out this variables. So our formula for V2 is equal to V1 times T2 all over T1. So we have now the formula for V2, which is V1 times T2 over T1. All right. So next, we're going to plug in the given. So our formula is V2 equals to V1 times T2 over T1. To plug in the given, we have V1, which is equal to 160 ml. And then T2 is 313 Kelvin. Instead of writing 40 degrees Celsius, you're going to write 313 because uh, in Charles Law, you need to convert the temperature to Kelvin. So that is 313 Kelvin divided by T1, which is 303 Kelvin. 303 Kelvin. And we're going to cancel out Kelvin here, cancel out. So the remaining unit is ml. And the next thing that you're going to do is multiply 160 to 313 and then divided by 303 you will get final volume which is 165.28 ml all right so now let us analyze uh, our answer our initial volume our initial volume is 160 ml and then our final volume the one that we solve is 165.28 ml so what you can see here is there is an increase in volume, right? So volume increases. Uh, did the temperature also increase? T1 is 303 Kelvin, and then T2 is 313 Kelvin. Definitely, yeah, there is an increase in temperature. That's why uh, the volume also increases. Got it?